bless the name of the Lord Jesus this morning. Heavenly Father, I thank you. I thank you for life, God. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for the forgiveness of sin this morning. Mighty God, this morning I pray, God, that as I lift my hands up to you, God, God, that you will reach down and you will touch it, Almighty God. As I lift my voice, O oh God, your ears will be open unto my prayers this morning, O oh God. Father God, I pray not for myself only, O oh God, but I pray for others who are listening, others who are hearing, God. I pray, God, that you will give us your healing virtue this morning, O oh God. Mighty God, let there be complete and total healing in our minds, body, soul, and spirit, O oh God. Mighty God, I pray that you will block out our sins, that you will block out our transgression. I pray, mighty God, that you will cause our minds to be fixed on you today. Mighty God, I pray that we will cry to you today, that we will look to you today, because you are all sufficient this morning. Our help, oh God, it comes from you and you only. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to God. You are worthy, Almighty God. We're looking at Psalms 20 this morning. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defendeth thee. Send thee help from thy sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember all thy offerings and accept thy burnt sacrifices. Grant thee according to thine own hearts and fulfill thy counsel. Hallelujah, Jesus. Fulfill all thy counsel. We will rejoice in thy salvation and in the name of our God will we set up our banners. The Lord fulfill all thy petition. Now know I that the Lord saveth his anointed. He will hear him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They are brought down and fallen. They are risen and stand upright. They are brought down and fallen. But we are risen and stand upright. Save, Lord. Let the King hear us when we call this morning. Glory be to God. Glory be to God this morning. Let the King hear us when we call. We glorify the King of Kings this morning. We glorify the Lord of all lords, are above all lords this morning. Glory be to God. The works, the gods that are in the earth, the gods that are in the earth, they are the works of man's hands this morning. Glory to God. But our God wasn't fashioned. Our God wasn't designed. Our God wasn't put together by any man. Glory be to God. Man cannot fix God. Man cannot change God. Man doesn't have any control over what the Almighty God thinks and over the preparation that he has made for us each and every day. He's God by himself. He doesn't need any counsel. He is the judge, he is the juror, he is the officer. Glory be to God this morning. He doesn't need any counsel. Judgment, hallelujah. Judgment is his and his alone this morning. Glory be to God. The Bible said this morning, The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defendeth thee. Glory be to God. Is there trouble this morning? Is there trouble this morning? Glory be to God. Know that the Lord will hear you in trouble. What do we do when we are in trouble? 
when we are in trouble glory to God there is a sound that we make when we are in trouble we begin to make a sound we begin to talk we begin to cry out we begin to look for help glory be to God but the Bible said the God of Jacob defended thee glory be to God the God of Jacob defended thee this morning the God of Israel glory be to God it was Israel name who was turned into um, Jacob the Lord changed the name of Jacob and the Lord called him Israel glory be to God so the God of Israel defended you this morning glory be to God <laughs> even today we are we are so what do you say accident prone <laughs> there is always trouble there is always a situation glory be to god there is always something for the lord to save us from to deliver us from the children of israel will always be in danger they will always have something to cry out for glory be to god but in their cry the lord hears them glory be to god the Lord hear them. The Lord defended them. Glory be to God. The God of Israel defended you this morning. Glory be to God. He will fight against the enemy this morning. He will make the ways this morning when there is no way. Glory be to God. Send thee help from thy sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Glory be to God. The place where God is. Glory be to God. The place where he is, the place where he dwells this morning, there is help. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, you are worthy. The place where God is, there is help. Glory be to God. He's surrounded. Glory to God. He's surrounded with, with angels. Glory be to God. There is strength, there is power, there is an army where the Lord is this morning. And so he will send help, glory be to God, from his sanctuary where he is to come and to strengthen us where we are today in Jesus' name. The Lord will remember all thine offering and he will accept thy burnt offering. Today the sacrifice of God is a broken Glory be to God. A broken and a contrite heart. He will not he will not despise this morning. A broken and a contrite heart. He will not despise. Glory be to God. Glory to God this morning. What is your sacrifice this morning? What is your sacrifice this morning? This morning, he's not looking for any blood offerings glory be to god this morning he's looking for a heart that is broken glory to god a heart that knows that that that, that, is, that is in trouble a heart that knows that god is a healer a heart a heart that knows that there is help when you come to him a heart that knows that in spite of what i have done glory be to god i can come to god i can be broken before him i can be truthful Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I don't have to have any. I can remove um, the pride. I can remove um, high self-esteem. I can just remove all those things and just go to God in brokenness. I can go to God. If I have done something wrong, I am not too big. I am not too arrogant. I'm not too educated. I am not too much of a know-it-all that I cannot go to God that I cannot be broken before the Lord in Jesus name this morning grant thee according to thine own heart and fulfill all thine counsel the Lord will grant the desires of our heart he will fulfill our counsel what is it that we are saying what it is that we are asking the Lord for he will rejoice we will rejoice in the salvation of the Lord. In the name of our God, we will set up our banners because the Lord will fulfill all that our petition. Whatever we bring to him, 
whatever it may be this morning the lord will fulfill our petition if we make it if we send it if we ask for it if we say it the lord is hearing it the lord is hearing it this morning know that the lord saveth is anointed you will hear him from his from his holy heavens he will hear him from his holy heavens with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. Chariots and horses, I believe right here they are representing an army. They are representing manpower, glory be to God, because back then, when they go out to war, glory be to God, there would be man's man on horses, and there would be man in the chariots, glory be to God. They will go to war, and thousands of chariots, hundreds of chariots, um, hundreds of horsemen, 200, 300 of horsemen. It speaks of an army, glory be to God. But this morning, the Lord is even saying that some will trust in the horses, some will trust in the chariots, some will trust in the amount of person that they're surrounded by, some will trust in physical human, in physical strength. But we cannot watch that, we cannot look at that as believer, glory be to God. But we have to trust in the name of the Lord, our God, because he is the defeater of the armies. Glory be to God. We have seen it. The Lord sent out one angel and armies were destroyed. Camps were destroyed. Glory be to God. So it doesn't matter what army is surrounding you today. It doesn't matter who is against you and their armies behind them this morning. Glory be to God. The Lord is our refuge. The Lord is our strength. He's our counsel. He's our defender. He's our shield. Glory be to God. And so all we have to do is to make our petition, is to go to him, is to seek him out. Glory be to God. For where the, where the presence of God is, where God is this morning, where he resides in his sanctuary this morning, there are hosts, hosts of angels, glory be to God, around him, waiting, waiting for our petition, waiting for our cry, that the Lord may say, go forth, visit that camp, visit that house, glory be to God this morning, believe it brothers and sisters, they are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright this morning. If you want to stand upright, if you want to risen, if you want to be risen, if you want to be lifted, the source of your strength should be in the name of the Lord. The source of your strength, is, it, it is in your faith. Glory be to God. Glory be to God this morning, because the Lord is is your defender is your shield no wonder the bible said in the name of the lord we will set up our banners glory be to god glory be to god because the banner it represents whose we are who we are glory be to god hallelujah jesus glory be to god it lets the enemy know who they're coming up against and the God that we serve, glory be to God, in Jesus' name. Glory be to God this morning. Save, Lord. Glory be to God. Let the King hear us when we call. The King of Kings this morning. The Lord of all lords. The conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. He is our protector. He's our shield. He's our banner this morning. Glory be to God. He's our refuge. He's our strength. He's our defense this morning. Glory be to God. Even now, mighty God, I just pray that you will take full control of what's going on in the atmosphere, mighty God. Hallelujah, Jesus. In the midst of a pandemic, glory be to, be, glory be to God. Believers, let us stand strong, let us stand firm 
in our faith. Glory be to God. Let us stand firm in our faith. Let us pray without ceasing. Glory be to God. Let us pray without ceasing. Glory be to God. Because we know that our Lord is a healer. Glory be to God. We look at the plagues. We look at what he did down there in Egypt. Glory be to God. We look at what he did. We look at the plagues. Glory be to God. And we see that the Lord says, this plague will come. Glory be to God. This plague will come. Glory be to God. For a sign of his power. And our God is capable of healing all plagues. Glory be to God. Our God is capable of putting an end to wars, both physically and spiritually. He is still capable of healing, both physically and spiritually. Glory be to God. So believers, let us believe God. Let us remain strong in our faith. Let us look to God. Let us turn from our ways. Let us acknowledge him. Let us seek his face. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. The more trouble come, is the more we seek God. It shouldn't be so. But since that is what will take us to seek God, let us seek God. We see the pandemic, it's getting out of hand again. Let us seek God. Let us seek God. Because some of us, we begin to get some rest. We begin to get some relief. Glory be to God. <laughs> and what do we do? We didn't stay steadfast. We begin to go back to the old, the norm, the sinful. Glory be God. But now that the pandemic is on a different breaking out again, we will begin to be to, to be conscious or prayerful about where our state, about whether or not we will survive, about whether or not we will contract it, about whether or not we will die. There's something about trouble. That does keep us at the altar. But thank God for his mercy. To be at the mercy of God. It is a good thing. To be at the mercy of God. It is a good thing. To fall into the hands of God. It is a good thing. Because with God we can have mercy. We will obtain mercy. We will obtain mercy. Glory be to God this morning. So let us pray. Let us be focused. Let us continually have faith in our God. Let us look to him. Let us seek his face. Glory be to God. That he shall indeed be our banner. In Jesus name. Amen.